Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Quiet School Dreams Tarot. This is another nature read, which is timeless. Off the grid, right? I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel. I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah, we're going to just, uh, you know, found some other cards. And it's like, you know, the day it's like, go in the water, get out, dry off, eat, do tarot. Go in the water, get out, dry off, eat, do tarot you know, or read, you know, and, you know, I read a lot in the last trip, so, you know, I've just I've been minim having the reading uh, book time at, at a minimum, you know, um, I guess because I chose uh, some books that are not very exciting. <laughs> hey, you know what? It happens. I'm trying to decide if I should finish it or if I should just let it go. <laughs> I only have a hundred more pages left, so I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, um, I grabbed four different types of decks, okay? I don't like to reuse the same ones, especially like within the same week or something, unless I want a continuation of the reading, right? We don't want that. We want new, right? We want some new info, no? All right. <clears throat> so basically the first deck I grabbed was the Celtic Lenormand. Yeah, I haven't used this in a long time shuffled them a whole bunch of times. I have the book just in case because sometimes I remember some stuff and sometimes I don't. Okay. So let's get three cards just to start out here just so we can get an idea of what's going on. Wait, am I holding them up right or? Okay. Yeah. Just to see what's going on for whoever is joining us today at this wonderful reading. <laughs> you know? I need three cards, please. Three. Okay, well, here's one, which is the 36 card. Here is six, the clouds. This is a cross. The cl I, okay, I kind of know already. One final card. <clears throat> Let me get one final card for whoever's showing up for this reading. Okay. No bottom of the deck of this. We just leave it, okay? So, okay, this 36 card. This is about having a cross to bear, right? This is about having some information or having something on your mind, on your chest, something you need to get off, though. Some burden that you have to carry, right? 36 reduces down to the number 9. Which, you know, indicates that there could be endings to some cycles here in your life. In somebody's life. Now with that six of wands there, it's indicating to me victory though. Okay? So whatever you got going on, that you're just like, it's really taxing on you or it's taking a toll on you or whatever. You will have victory in that situation. <clears throat> Now we have the card, the clouds, the cards. Now we have the clouds, right? So this is the number six card, the number of love, right? Could be. But with the clouds there, it's showing me that there could be some confusion, right? And who might be confused? Somebody with fire in their chart. You have the king of wands symbol right here. Okay. So somebody might be confused here about something, right? They're in the dark. Well, you see these real light clouds right here? You know, clouds will dissipate, and then we'll have some nice white fluffy ones eventually, right? These are rain clouds. So somebody, somebody's confused about something or upset about something that has happened. But like I said, things will clear up eventually. And you could have fire in your chart if you're watching this and if this is kind of resonating with you so far. Not everything's going to resonate exactly pinpoint, but they, it will resonate. 
Final card here, we'll get the 13 card, reduce it down to the number 4. The number 13, or the number 4, could be significant to someone. Okay? For here, though, we're showing that there's a little boy right here. So this is indicative of um, a male. Okay? Because in these cards, it's not like, oh, we have both energies. No. It's either a man or a woman, and that's it, and that's all. Okay? So, <clears throat> we have the 13 card here. And, you know, this boy, he's playing on a, with his boat in, you know, in the water, right? He's learning about buoyancy or something. I don't know. Maybe he wants to be a sailor. Go Navy, if anything, right? <laughs> so anyways, this is about somebody in their adolescence. So, so this could have, something could have happened in somebody's childhood. This also could indicate that there's something uh, with a child, right? A younger boy. You know, it doesn't have to be, but it could be. We have uh, the uh, Knight of Swords here, which indicates that there will be some truth coming in in regards to this little boy. Right? There could have been some trauma. Because if you're an adult here and you're like, there's no kids in my environment, whatever, then this could be you if you're a male watching this. Okay, if you're a male watching this, this could be you reflecting back on some sort of tri childhood issues or trauma that you've gone through. Right? Maybe you realize some truth about something. Okay, so this is very interesting so far. I want to check to see if these indicate any people in them real quick. Well, this one does. I want to see if this one does. The 36 card. Because, you know, if somebody has a cross to bear, what, who is it involving, right? So let's see if there's any indication of a people in this. Okay. Well, it doesn't really say people, you know, but, you know, let me see. No, there's no people indicated here, but I will say something that I just noticed. It says that paganism advocates an active, engaged approach to morality and ethics. This is a burden. You have to think about what you are doing, why you are doing it, and what the consequences may be. <clears throat> the symbol of the cross also connects to other spiritual religion. So there's something going on here with religion, right? Somebody might think, uh, you know, somebody might be thinking that the tarot here is a, you know, and, you know, it's a freaking game. I bought these at a freaking toy store or in the toy section, right? Don't get so crazy about that. I don't know why people get so crazy with that. It's just a freaking game. You don't have to believe it. It's up to you whether you do or not. But people want to get all crazy with it, you know, but whatever. You're going to do what you're going to do, right? So somebody could be against, somebody could be here against the tarot or their family is. Or against some sort of spiritual religion of some sort or whatever. There might, or there might be confusion in regards to the tarot or whatever something is going on with someone's religion. Maybe, okay, I'm getting something. Now it's like rolling in. <clears throat> when someone was younger, you know, they had a certain religion. Our parents teach us shit, right? Fortunately for me, mine didn't. <laughs> I had no concept of religion growing up, right? It was until later, like in my 40s, that I started, because I was a person of science, right? So anyhow, somebody may have been, you know, feared with the Bible, right? That's what the Bible does. It instills fear into people. And that's not what I don't, that's to me, I don't feel like that's what God wants. God wants us to have joy and happiness and all this. He doesn't want us, he or she, whoever God is, doesn't want us to be miserable or have fear, fear for this and fear for that, fear for the devil, fear for, no, that's not my belief. It might be on the contrary to all you guys out there or to many of you out there, but not for me. Okay, I wasn't, I wasn't forced 
the Bible when I was a child. I wasn't forced to go to church. I wasn't forced to fear the Bible or God, or you know? So think about that one. Anyhow. Um, but I do believe in God, okay? But not because of what I was forced to believe as a child, okay? I, what I believe is what I've gathered from information that I've done research for myself, okay? All right. <clears throat> Let's keep it moving. Um, I also have, okay, this is this is the Whispers of Love deck, right? But I'm going to save this till the end, okay? Um, I don't know why I grabbed that, but I did. So, you know, and, you know, it's funny because earlier I grabbed the uh, Romance Angel. So, I don't know. And it wasn't really romance -y either, anyway. <laughs> so, um, let's go ahead and use the uh what is this called again aquarian tarot this has been pre-shuffled so let's just find out you know what's going to come out with this whoa whoa eight of rods so somebody's going to be coming in with some sort of information for someone okay can you see that yeah that's what this is. This is about making some swift movement for communication, passionate communication or swift movement to create some sort of stability, right? Some message coming in, something coming in quickly and swiftly. So this could be coming into somebody. <clears throat> and what is this involving? Either that could be coming into somebody or you could be, you know, once one of the sides that we're talking about whichever sides those are one side is coming in with this information this swift movement to create stability or you know vice versa right and and why what does this involve what does this information involve four of rods in the reverse i am not your soulmate maybe i don't know i'll tell you what though this is like karmic so somebody might be coming in to really quickly to talk to somebody. I want to create stability with you. I want to do this with you. I want to do that with you, right? Somebody's going to come in quickly to you, all right? This person is not your soulmate. They're going to claim to be. This could be a karmic or that past person that ripped, that burned you, that fucked you over, that made you feel less than that's who this is this is the karmic that's what they would call that's how i consider it either way you go it's still a soulmate 1111 because if you flip over 11 it's still 11 right so this to me i feel like it's a karmic so somebody from somebody's past wants to come in quickly with some sort of uh they want to talk to you about oh can I maybe come live with you? Can I do this? Can I do that? Can we get together? Can we? This is a karmic. I'm talking about that person, once again, that ripped you off, that burned you, that cheated on you, that lied to you, that did all that terrible shit to you. That's who this person is. So think twice about whether or not you want to believe any word that this person has to say. Because you know better. Okay. So that's what's coming in to somebody. Somebody's going to be receiving some sort of quick, swift communication from a karmic who's going to claim to be your soulmate or twin flame or whatever, right? They're going to claim to be somebody special to you. People just don't outright come and say that either. People just know, right? And then after you are together already, then you might mention, so by the way, you know what I mean? You can question it then. But in the beginning, how the fuck are they going to know? Especially when you haven't seen them for so long. You have to see. You need time with people to get to know them, right? I don't care how many, how many years you were with them and separated so many other years. It doesn't matter. People change in time. You know what I'm saying? So be on your guard for that. What, what could come out of this? 
What could come out of this situation? King of Cups. This is indicating to me that this is a person who might be coming. This is the one coming into somebody. Somebody with uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their chart. This person seems to be emotionally stable, but, you know, they don't really show it much. But the card is indicating that they are. Now, whether you want to believe that or not is up to you. Okay? The bottom of the deck we do have. Look at that shit. If you want to believe it or not, it's up to you. We have the devil right there. Do you, are you going to believe that shit? I'm not, I wouldn't. I wouldn't straight up. That's just my opinion. You don't have to do anything that I say here. Nothing. You don't have to do nothing I say. But me, I would never take this person back. Mm -mm. Especially with that energy. Fuck no. Crazy? Let's clarify. Eight of Rods. Apparently that this person from your past is still in your energy, okay? I'm going to try and come in with some bullshit again. This is your test from the universe. I swear to God it is. It's a t test from the universe. I swear. I feel it. Eight of Rods. Tell me about the Eight of Rods. Let me get three cards. One more card, please. Hell yeah. Oh, it's in the reverse. This is in the upright. Let me get one more card. It's at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Cups, Empress. In this deck, this is the Empress. And look at this. Okay. Oh, look at this shit. Would you take a look at that shit? All right. <clears throat> Just kidding, you guys. Anyhow, whoever's coming in to talk to you, they're not even freaking single. They might be soon to be single, but they're not. They're not at the present when they come and talk to you. This person's going to tell you, oh, I'm coming into some money. That's what they're going to say. You know how long that takes. We got the, the Knight of Pentacles. That shit's going to take forever. And they're just telling you they have no proof that, you know, something about getting maybe the money from this queen of uh, wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person's an angry, mean ass bitch type of lady. She's in the reverse. Queen of wands in reverse is she's like bitch. Right. Now, either this person coming in is going to claim to be single, but they are not, or they will soon be, or they are getting married. It's one of those. Or you, they might think that you are single and you are not, or maybe you are, or you will be, or I don't know. But the Nine of Pentacles indicates, it, it could indicate a single person that's, that's broke or unstable. Maybe they think that you are. Maybe they think that you are broken, unstable, so they're going to come in with this big old lie like, oh, I'm going to get money, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get that. That's why they're coming in with this message to create some sort of stability with you. So they're going to come in with all this, you know, hoopla, right? Hoopla. And then, you know, somehow this Queen of Wands, this angry individual is involved here, right? So I don't, I don't know who this Queen of Wands is to anybody to be quite honest, you know? But this is an angry, mad uh, woman. She's a mad, angry, pissed off, talk a lot of shit probably too. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Let's see what the next three cards are. She might be, and you, you might be this empress, you know? You might be this person that they're coming in to talk to or vice versa, whatever. You know, you can flip it, flip it however it sounds, you know. That's why they always say, you know, flip, flop it, whatever, because all the readers, they want you to resonate with their readings, right? You're not going to resonate with everything. Of course not. But the majority, you should, it's going to resonate, period, somewhere in there. 
And if it doesn't, you haven't had enough life experience or you're just a hateful person complaining about something that you're getting for free. That's all plain and simple. You know? That's foolish. Four of rods in the reverse. Why is it there? I might go into town tomorrow. I don't know. I have everything I need. Five of Cups. This person's also going to be like, I'm so sad without you. I miss you. I love you. They're going to say some shit like that. I'm going to try and sound all serious, whatever. They might be even. I don't know, though, because you know, it all depends on what this person did. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, we don't know if that double card is upright or reversed. It's, it's at the bottom of the deck. It didn't fly out on, on its own, so we have no idea. So we don't know the intention of that card, really, but we do know that there's toxicity there, or was, is, or was. Okay. That person didn't even work on themselves. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. They're going to be a lot. They, I, this is already the cards that are coming out right here in this order, telling me why is this like this, whatever, whatnot. This is telling me that this is a freaking liar, this person. Liar. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and I would bet that this is in the upright. They're probably, you know, addic have addictive behavior. Or they're probably on dope or drinking or some sort of toxic activity. I'm feeling those vibes. I'm telling you. He may be a very good actor. This is why he shows up in the upright. But, you know, the King of Cups never really expresses their emotions anyways. It's showing that he is emotionally stable, but who knows? How can you really tell until you hang out with that person for a bit? And maybe you don't want him to stick around that long. You know what I mean? Maybe you got other shit going on. You don't need that person in your life. Whatever, right? <clears throat> the bottom of the deck, we have the Joker card there, but we still need one more card here. Let me get one more card. That four rods. You you might uh, know somebody who is a queen of swords. She's in the upright. She's smart. You can't pull a fast one on her. Whoever's coming to this queen of swords, somebody with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. Whoever you are who's missing this person and you just, you're not working on yourself. You might be headed towards a queen of swords. You might be telling this queen of swords that, oh, you're my soulmate or some shit like that. She's moving forward, though. I'll tell you that right now. She's looking forward. She's moving forward. This queen of uh, wands right here, she's from the past. She's in the past. She's looking back. Angry woman looking back. You know what I'm saying? This queen of uh, swords right here, she's moving forward. So you might be a male watching this, and we're talking about some shit in your life. I kind of feel that, that, you know, I have a substantial amount of males that watch my videos. Even though a lot of females think females watch their videos. Only because of my background. Okay? Because I was involved in a group that involved a lot of men. So I was in, in that group. That was tomboyish, you know. So this would mostly be why I pick up on a lot of males. You know? But it doesn't, I mean, I, I could be wrong. I don't ever claim to be 100% right about everything at all, you know, because nobody is that way. Except for like one plus one is two, you know what I'm saying? Let's keep going. Look, I told you. I freaking, freaking told you. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. The Five of Swords, dude. That's the liar card. <laughs> I told you, liar. Somebody's gonna try come and lie to this lady right here. 
Somebody is. I don't know who is, but somebody is. Another thing I just got. <clears throat> this right here, this Queen of Wands, who's all pissed off. and This could have been her in the past. But she's moving forward. She's moving on because she realizes that this person is a karmic. That's entirely possible. That is so possible. That this person used to be angry and pissed off and mean, some fire sign. But now this person is different. They're like Queen of Swords in her. So they could have fire and earth and uh, fire and air in her chart. Shoot, could I probably have earth too since I said that. So now this person is more logical in their decisions, whoever this is. But we're still dealing with this fool right here who's toxic, I feel. I feel like they're fucking toxic and I feel like they're a liar. I'm just, I'm just saying for, for me, you know, that's for me. I think maybe for you, somebody out there too, not just me. Either you're the liar or you're being lied to. One or the other. Tell us about this King of Cups. Who is this fool? <laughs> Seriously, shit. Okay. Huh. Can you fucking take a look at that? He's, it's the fucking player. So that one person in your life, whoever you are, male or female, who was a player around you and all that shit, who has got water in their chart, that's who this fool is. Who, that's who the liar is. It's a player. Players are not honest anyways. No players are honest. They're all fucking liars, I feel. They gotta lie to play their games. You see? So being a player isn't all that it's cracked up to be. You know what I'm saying? You gotta lie to schmooze. You know? Come here, baby. I love you. You know you're the only one. Liar. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. <laughs> got the three of wands here so this person is just waiting for their ships to come in maybe they are gonna get some money maybe that's not a lie maybe they're waiting to come in so they could show you the truth and then they could just be like look I'm a player with all these ladies and I got all the money well you know have at it good for you enjoy your life that's how I would be totally but that's just me I don't know how anybody else would handle this. Some some women nowadays would be all over that shit. Not me. I'd rather go broke than be with a fool like that. Okay? I'd rather be suffering than be with a fool like that. Let me get a final card here for that King of Cups. <laughs> Look at that. Ten of Cups. Happy family, happy home. You know what? This guy could be like polygamy status. That's extra nasty. <laughs> um, he could be in a marriage or relationship or, or he could be happy in his home, whatever, but he's allowed to do this, you know, like I, you know, and I can't even fucking believe it, but there's fucking people out there that they get married yet. They still go and cheat on each other, but it's okay. And it's accepted between them or they find out they get mad and they're just like, fuck it. We're stuck anyway. But, uh, there, we got a bunch of confused ass weird thinking people out there and that's what this per this looks like here and they're probably on dope because drugs and alcohol always play a part in that and, and unless it's those you know like what you see on um like those documentary channels about polygamy you see like one guy with 10 wives and they're all dressed like uh amish people or some you know what i'm saying I i'm not talking about that I'm talking about just your normal run-of-the-mill people living in town, whatever. Fucking cheating here and there. Probably on dope. Just, ugh. Yuck lifestyle. Yuck. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> look at the bottom of the deck. It's like an eight of rods sandwich. That's indicating to me that that is the end of the reading. Somebody already has a happy... Or they're waiting... They're waiting for their ships to come in so they can have happy family, happy home. 
Okay, let me tell you something. I just got, I just got it now. It is the end of the reading though, okay? But the explanation is different. This person thinks they're, they're going to get the money. The, the, some money is going to come in somehow to somebody, okay? They're going to say, I got it, you know, whatever. This person still has not worked on themselves, though. This person is still a bum, okay? Whoever this is so that you know, who, who did all that shit to you, okay? Whoever you are, male or female. This person is still a player. And they don't, they don't plan on changing, okay? This person also is waiting for their ships to come in, i.e. the money. It's directly across the money. That's what they're waiting for. Because they feel like if they have that money and they flash it in whoever's face, whoever they're coming towards, that they're going to have this. They could probably. You probably could, depending how much money it is, whatever. Sometimes money can buy love. In my case, no, it cannot. Okay? Um, but that person's going to come in and try to do that. So depending on how you are in your own morals, your own personal morals, I suggest you, um, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say for whoever this. You, I don't know which part you're playing in this. You could even be this angry-ass fire sign and nobody else here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know who you are watching. But I'll tell you what. <clears throat> if somebody hurt you in the past like this, think about whether or not you want to have that person back in your life. Okay? I'll tell you why. Maybe you haven't seen them in like 10 years, right? But maybe that person lied to you, cheated on you, stole from you, just done the unmentionable, all kinds of damage, like Ten of Swords energy just fucked you over badly, right? So you see that person like 10 years later, right? Oh, I've changed. I'm a different person. I'm this, that, and the other. And maybe you did really love that person. Like, you, you just, you were, that was your person. Still, you know, they could have changed. They could have changed for the better. They, maybe they did realize that you were the best thing, that whatever, sliced bread, you know? But I'll tell you what. Are you going to want to take that person back? Remembering all that shit. You can't erase those memories. And that will, you will always harbor resentment for that person. So it doesn't necessarily mean that taking someone back and they've changed and they've grown up is still a good idea. That's why, you know, they talk to you about, oh, your, your twin flame masculine, they will grow up finally and change and then you guys will have union. Fuck no. Do you want union with the person who did all that shit to you? That you will always remember that in the back of your head? And people that you mutually know will also be whispering shit behind your back? Shit, would do you want to live that kind of... I wouldn't. And there's so many other good people out there in the world that you could meet. Somebody who hasn't fucked you over. Somebody who will, will love you and treat you well. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to talk some sense right here. And some reality, some logic, okay? Not, you know, ooh, no. I'm trying to tell you about reality right now, okay? Not, put all that, all the fucking bullshit twin flame garbage aside. So you do have union, okay? What did that person do to you when you, when you were having those, those dark nights of the soul, right? You're going to always remember that. You're going to have dreams about it. You're going to think about it. I'll tell you what. And I'm not saying like, oh, this is a message from God. I'm just saying common sense, you know. God doesn't want us to be in misery like that. Hell no. So still, I don't care if anybody's changed and they become a billion gazillionaire. They're always going to remember what they did to you. They've always scarred you as it is. And they're just scraping that scar even deeper when they're with you. 
and it appears, you know, it makes you appear to be the weak one. Why do you need that person when there's thousands and millions of other people, billions of other people out there to choose from? Somebody who will treat you like a queen or the king that you are. All right, that's enough. Let's keep going. <laughs> Whispers of love. Let's frickin' see what this is, <laughs> right? I don't know why I grabbed this, you know? Well, let's go. What do we, let me get three cards, one for each pile, one for each row, I guess, or whatever you call them. Relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. I frickin' told you, dude. You don't need this person. It's time for change. You might be going through a, some cyclic pattern in your life. And it's like over and over choosing these kind of people, these freaking. Remember the kind of person that person was. Were they a sweet talker? Hey, baby. Or, you know, or you're so good at just schmoo, just laying it on thick, right? <clears throat> Watch out for those ones. You know, you know, if you meet someone, they shouldn't be, you sh shouldn't be even be mentioning any sexual stuff or anything. It shouldn't have, it shouldn't be, it should be like friends first. You know what I'm saying? It's such an, uh, I t I'll tell you what, if I meet, if, when I talk to guys and they say shit like, oh, you have beautiful eyes and we're just freaking talking or, oh, I like your, you know, Dude, do you say that to your bros? Don't come to me like that fucking makes me feel ew. Like they just want one thing. They couldn't even hold back within five minutes. They couldn't even hold that comment back. Could have talked about anything else. My freaking dog, you know what I mean? Shit. So that's how, that's my, that's my, you know, if a guy shows me like, like he's not giving me no, that sparks my interest, you know? If a guy is not showing me any kind of attraction or too, you know, they're not trying to lay it on thick, then I kind of think like, hmm, who's this guy? You know what I mean? Because all guys are like that. They're pigs. <laughs> not all guys. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. But a lot of them are. They've just got one thing on their mind. Anyways, the ones that I run into, a lot of them, not, not all of them. <clears throat> Let's get a second row, second column such a turn off that shit <laughs> I mean if I was a desperate woman then maybe I'd, I'd like that but you know but you never can tell with these women nowadays either shit man so sorry to tell it's better be safe than sorry just treat them all like friends first right demonstrate love <laughs> after I just told you guys don't act this way and then act that way what is it I need light sorry find out what is important to those you love and act on it Right? Can you guys, is there enough light for you guys? Yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> so this one is, okay, so this is about showing, right? Show me you love me. Show me you're my friend. Show me you care. Don't tell me these things. Because you might have diarrhea of the mouth anyways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just joking around with that one, but hey, you know, you never know. Let's get a final one. So this is about, remember, this is about showing, not telling, you know. Anybody can tell you they love you, but can they show you, right? <clears throat> All right. What's the final one? Final card. There it is. Take a chance on love. And I just thought about that, that ABBA song, you know. So, take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever, right? So, and it's falling on this King of Cups, right? Now, <clears throat> maybe this guy needs to take a chance on love, right? Maybe somebody has fallen out of love with somebody and they're taking a chance elsewhere. Or maybe this person needs to take a chance on I don't know, but somebody here needs to take a chance on love, right? 
Instead, oh, maybe because of, look, being a player. Maybe somebody's afraid to love. That's why they're a player. Who knows? Right? I don't know. This is a hard one because, you know, just depends on what somebody did to somebody in the past. Really. If they didn't really hurt you that bad, then I guess, you know, you could move forward with this person. If it was just maybe miscommunication or something like that. If it was something devastating like cheating and lying and stealing and physical harm, uh, mental abuse, financial abuse, whatever, then no, this, no, that's a bad idea. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what's at the bottom of this one? Listen with your heart. So, yeah. That's, you know, like, I, I don't I don't have no advice for this part, you know. You're just going to have to follow your intuition on this. Because <sighs> this part doesn't resonate for me. This part, because I'm, I'm, I am no, there's, I'm not near anyone. I'm not by, so anybody from the past, this part doesn't resonate with me, okay. Maybe the activities and the shit that happened does, but not. That this person coming but no no I'm already far gone from this you know someone out there though you're not you're not safe from this or you're not out of the, the, the dark yet or out of the light out of the dark I don't know how that goes but you're not in the clear yet so you just have to keep an eye out and you know know what you want don't be indecisive know what you want know what you deserve you know what I mean all right, so I think that's it. If it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona, this is Classical Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.